Hello, welcome to Sharing Creativity and Company. My name is Sharon Chang, and today I'm going to show you how to make this rainy day card. We're going to show you three different techniques, how to die cut this umbrella, how to use punches to make this handle, and how to easily hand cut small items like these boots. Let's get started. For the umbrella, I actually used the third oval counting from the outside edge in to cut this, and you'll actually get two umbrellas out of this. If you're actually short on paper, just so you'll know, you can actually cut half an oval like that, and that would also work. After you get your oval cut, I highly recommend using the magnetic platform, and what you're going to do is you're going to take the Adorning Accents Edgelets die, and you're going to put it down, like this, and try to set it up so that your scallops are evenly spaced across the egg and you don't see how they both end on the edge. That's what you're looking for. You're going to run it through the big shot. And when you do that, you're going to end up getting this shape. Let's talk about how I made the handle. To do the handle, you're going to take a piece of paper that is three quarters inch by four and a quarter. You're going to take your stamp and trimmer. And those of you that have watched my videos and blog know that I use the bottom half because it's closer to you, easier to see, more ergonomically correct. I just eyeball what will be the center. This is a fairly forgiving technique. Close it down. And then I'm going to use a pencil to draw a line down the center. And I'm going to stop about a quarter inch short. So it'll look like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Then I'm going to take my word window punch, and down here where I did not come all the way to the edge with the line, I'm going to put that eyeball center punch, come across, punch, and you're going to find it'll take one more time, and punch. After you do that, just take a look and go, see this end's not, doesn't look as pretty. So I'm going to use this side for the handle. And so I'm just going to cut it off here. Now to get the rounded edge, I'm actually using the small oval punch. You're going to find it's easier to put in on the wide edge of the oval. But then turn it because you're actually going to use the narrow part of the oval. Line it up. So it's cutting the way you want it. Uh, that looks pretty close. And punch, and there's your handle. Now, to get the top of the umbrella rounded, you could actually just round it with a pair of scissors, but since I had my punches out, I went ahead and took my mosaic punch, and I just put it in the top, and punch it, and then I have my rounded edge right there. So let's talk about how to hand cut items to have smooth edges. What you want to do is, if there's a straight edge to start with, that's going to be easier for you. I'm going to try to get this closer so you can see. I like to leave a little bit of an edge. It's just a little bit more forgiving than cutting right to the line. Here I do not close my scissors. I open them right back up and then I turn the paper leaving my scissors right where they are. I go till my scissors are almost ready to close. I open them right back up. That's the trick to getting a clean edge, is never close your scissors. And then when you get around to this side, again, you don't turn your hand. You leave your, your cutting hand right the where it is, and you turn your paper. I didn't bother doing the little scallops here. But I did come in and cut and cut. Again, open up the scissors, turn the paper. Inside corners like this are a little more difficult. So again, come in, open up. And that's how I cut my boots. 
Let me show you how I stamped the boots. Originally, Bootiful Occasion Stamp Set, these two are one stamp. And what I did is I put on the sticker and notice that it looks like I cut off the bottom of the boot. But what you want to do is don't use this side of the stamp when you're getting ready to cut it. You want to look and see where the rubber is because you can see I cut right here. And it's okay if the sticker is not exactly right. It's the rubber that you want to have correct. And that's how I separated the boot and the sentiment so I can make this little card. Thank you so much for watching my video. Here's the supply list. And enjoy.